shoot. Johnson got free. Oh, my goodness. Xavier Johnson steps around Malik Johnson and lays it in. Xavier Johnson steps around. Good hit. Rick hands by Hamilton triggers the turnover. What a move by Johnson. It's Hamilton rather on the shot. Big scrum for it. Johnson will take it all the way and finishes. Shot clock's down to seven. Can Xavier Johnson create? Yes. Yeah. 60. 67%. Step 67%. Open shooter from the corner. Yes! After sustaining a lower leg injury and missing some time. Whoa! He's picked things up a little bit in the second half. Quick hands by Johnson with the steal. He'll have an opportunity to finish any goals. A father figure as a mentor that I don't think he ever wanted to put himself in the same category. Pretty move well to nine points. Tony leading Pitt with 15. Here comes Johnson again. The Canes D. Johnson with a screen by Brown in the lane. Eggs to the paint for himself or for his teammates. Johnson draws another foul. His teammates. Johnson draws another foul. Johnson, Champagny, and Brown. The five on the floor for Pitt in their home white uniforms. Johnson splits the double team, hangs in the air, and lays it through. 400 rebounds in his collegiate career. As the Irish give it away, and Xavier Johnson is going to take it. The Astros step into the batter's box for the first time this spring. A huge bank shot. Both teams an identical four of seven from the floor. Johnson, a little bounce pass through traffic. Koulibaly, the catch and score. Johnson tell everybody to get out of the way. He wants to take Richmond. With a stop and go, and he drops the teardrop. Missing on the front end of the one and one. 31 23, the Wolfpack. Slicing in John. Johnson penetrating. Scoops it up, and it rolls for Florida State. So it's back up to 10. Johnson, that's a determined drive. He helped them only two turnovers for the Panthers thus far in the first 17 minutes of this game. Johnson with the... Here's Xavier Johnson to reset, but has to hurry. Five on the clock. Runner with a right hand. Again, they're a different team. And credit to Tony Bennett and his staff. Look how they started the season, taking everybody's hit. Johnson creates some space. Ten-point lead for the Hokies. Johnson oh. not been able to convert yet. Johnson, Cone stayed down on Xavier. You got to play a little better to earn those minutes late in games. Here he is in the lane and he's on. He doesn't miss. And Xavier Johnson getting all the challenge it as much as humanly possible. And honestly, sometimes you just got to hope that he misses because he's going to take some. He's going to make some. But just... Easy put back for Fritz on the offensive glass. And we'll... and a half gone by. And just a 2 nothing lead for the visitors here. They're looking to get on the board on their home floor. Up. They've been doing on the ball screen. Johnson with five. Driving on Perry. Gets away. Johnson. Tough shot. He's got six. No. Splitting the double team like that. Safe battle Xavier Johnson. Final shot, Belong. Had to really break him down to get him to open up. And in those areas, like you talked about, those. Right now, they're doing an excellent job. Johnson. And you mentioned Ryan Murphy coming to the game. He can score just under 11 a game. And what would be your biggest takeaway about the Irish from this game? Well, I'm really impressed with the fact that Pitt hit. Jordan, they upset Duke in double overtime in one of the best games of the season in the ACC. You can get away from him just a little bit, but not too far. On the drive, Johnson. Tough angle. Where they want to be, but I think that's where you see the growth from sophomore to junior season. Good rebounder as well. Johnson going out. It's been a two-possession game for the majority of the season for them. As Johnson drives.
Xavier Johnson pulls up. Bounce. And this He's turned into a sophomore. This is a young man who had five three pointers in his first 12 games. Johnson did range. Yes. Hamilton wanted it but didn't get it. Johnson to step back. He's got that as well. This is not crazy. Stephen Enoch, six foot ten, extremely athletic, goes up against Justin Champagne. Six point there, Georgia Tech. You got to recognize who the shot shooters are, and then you got to make sure that you box out. Long two. The staff has really kicked in with him as well. They need for him to be able to finish those shots around the basket. Air ball. Hamilton is there to pick it up, though. Three to shoot for Johnson. He sees it, and he nails it. Allen's kicks it. Shot clock at seven. Xavier Johnson steps back on Childress and buries the jump. Pitt trying to cut into a seven point deficit. That'll fall. An alternating possession. The dribble of that time long with the beautiful finish. Xavier breaking up a short, uncontested layup. Xavier Johnson in the mid range with two more. Xavier Johnson hangs in the Ryan Murphy back outside Xavier Johnson to some points in his career you wonder if people just forget about him here's Johnson to push that one up and knock it down about there's a few NBA scouts here taking a closer look at him that's just great body control and a guy that's going to Pass by Johnson to Champagne, but he got smothered. Here's Johnson, another three. And he many really times through the years. Johnson's going to take a three. Hello. Rhythm just a little bit. Johnson for three. Boys in this first half, because that's a shot that I would have expected Murphy to take, but they've done a great job moving the basketball. And three to shoot. Xavier Johnson. Frustration. You're not supposed to. Johnson has a lot of time from the corner. And he knocks down to this for the Pitt Panthers. As you said, they really don't have that step up score. Here's Johnson. He nails it. Preferred to go into Greensboro on a winning note in comparison to having lost seven straight games. DeVoe. Knuckle ball one. Johnson. Side step three. Good. You have to break it down with the pass or dribble. That time it opens. If they do, now you can't hedge off of him because of the kick out. And now he's got an open lane. And look at it from our defense. We've got to get back to that. On the offensive end, Johnson gets a clean look at it. You add up their victory total. The last two seasons, they've gone beyond that just this year alone in conference play. Johnson left alone. Got that one. Lost a ton coming off that national championship a year ago, but you know, Tony Bennett, one of the best coaches in the country, and it's a welcome sight. His decision-making with helping this team close out games that's been a struggle at times this season. Shot clock at five for Johnson. He rises. And answer. Tony Strong, he shut down Johnson for three. Nails it. I like what Pitt's doing that time, bringing a big up Brown to set a boss on the road. The back end of a little two-game trip through Ohio and Pennsylvania as Johnson makes Tony. Terrell Brown has returned. Here's Johnson pulling up for three and Pittsburgh. With the board. Young made the wrong decision. He passed it to his right when he should have passed it to his left. Johnson! That was the BNJC. Yeah, thank you very much oh. on the run out. Here comes Johnson on the attack and lays it up. It's by Enoch. Good hands by Tony. Johnson back the other way. And the finish. I will agree because it did not go to the intended opponents. That was not a great pass. Maybe this gets Xavier Johnson going. Francis just throws it away right to Johnson. 6 3 sophomore on the attack and he'll lay it in. You know, jarring because it's North Carolina. Whoa. Pitt, meantime, 0 for their last nice seven pass. from the field, and that finally comes. Two on one. Up top, Sean Penny. So the momentum flipping over to the Panthers here. 
Downstairs, up and now fourth in the ACC, close to six assists per game. That's a beautiful dime. Great pass on the other end. Johnson drives, dishes, Brown slam. Way. Barely was watching after the Deeks threw it to nobody. Johnson to Hamilton. Johnson gets downhill again. Champagny to uh, Pitt's got to do a better job keeping him off the glass. Radio analyst. Great look. Great look. Oh, you're taking your time. You don't want contested three. Nice pass inside. Forcing it in traffic. Johnson initially wanted to go up top to Tony. Thought better of it. Plays it off nicely to Hamilton. Just to get the confidence back. Quick response, Johnson. And that allowed them to get going. McAllen's has five, Alvarado has four. Inside, it's very good on the offensive boards. And the big reason for that is because they just missed so many shots. They chase this man to man every now and then. They'll throw some zone pressure in. But, you know, they really haven't taken advantage of those opportunities. That's what Capel wants. Foul line, here's Brown. Lob, Champagne, catch and score. Shot clock is dwindling. Cross court for Johnson. A drive and a dish. And a... Johnson with a beautiful hit off the ball. Johnson working on Popovich decides to give it to Murphy again. A step back trade. Up only four. Nice pass. Beautiful pass. Hey, Pittsburgh is going to double team the post whenever it goes inside the big top. Or protect your home floor and that resonates with the high school players But one of the things that he's also talked about is after you beat a Carolina as they did a Variety of different zone defenses that I'll throw at Pitt over the course of the afternoon hey. Champagne inside yes. With the help of uh, the author of his upcoming book John Lucas So let's back with the great Dino Cook at the Your coach Manning talked about it. Sar needs to get a lot of touches here down the stretch Told him yes got it oh, one and one time in the next common foul. Champagne. That's some open looks. They've done some nice things. That's a beautiful play right there by Xavier Johnson. It's that needs to win this game with numerous turnovers. Yeah, three of them so far officially. Good hesitation and an easy bat. 39% out there. It's a vastly improved shooting team. Oh, on the run out. But differently, they could have hung longer in that race to stay in the middle of the lead. Go. The first of his career from three point land. The Gallons corner. Yes! Three. Key though is they have to contest that last one. Champagne was open. Look away. And up top for Johnson. Shot clock down to seven. Pass for Tony. It dribbled down. Lays it on him. That'll be a spotlight again. NC State in the tournament as of now, but we're going to take care of as much business as possible. Oh, Chip. Xavier Johnson thought about it. Champagne slams and it goes down. Johnson looking to penetrate and dish. That's a difficult shot, but he for me, Diakite, when it's all said and done, he is going to be a guy that plays for a paycheck at the next level. Struck the game. Johnson will drive it. It spins off. Johnson right back up. And Champagne saved the bucket because even if Francis didn't make that shot, there were two guys with Brooks and Obeka on the other side to finish it up. Boy, nice play there by Johnson.